Welcome back to what is probably going to be a little bit of a post-mortem discussion here about the Better Advent 2 campaign. In the background you see some footage from one of my favorite episodes of this campaign. That's episode 28. It's a haven defense with the most memorable moment for me, moving Jane Kelly out in the open and triggering all the groups. So, um, what can I say about this campaign? I loved it. That's probably, I'd say, the best XCOM I've played so far. Not like from like, oh, I played very good, but it was just such great fun. Like, um, let's start with the individual mods, like a, a better advent. It's really great. I like the improvements of the AI are noticeable. <clears throat> the way the AI doesn't just do stupid. Like, you know, sometimes Advent Troopers just run back and forth again and do nothing uh, useful from the turn. And, like, having enemies hunker down, take uh, prioritize high cover, go for flanks, etc. That's really... It was very noticeable. And I liked it. Um, the additional enemy types, great. Prime enemies, fantastic. I feel like there are several enemies that I didn't get to see much of. Um... We barely had any any gatekeeper variants, despite I mean we were at sixty five episodes, so it's we were really late into the game. Maybe if I had done these final two missions that I skipped, but oh well. So um, what else can I say? Yeah, then uh, on top of that, uh, being an awesome mod with, with great enemies, great AI, and everything. Uh, the documentation is really good. The uh, developer um, set up a website where you can read everything about the add-on so we know exactly what you're getting into. So I could have known that flashbangs now stop chrysalids and could have saved that frost bomb on the first Avenger defense back in the day. And on top of it, he's also a really cool guy. He's been watching some of these videos can find his comments here and there and he's been really approachable both on in the comments in the um, steam forums or in the steam comments and also on reddit so really good part so the next big add-on uh, or mod that we were using was probably um, grimy sloot mod and i'm a bit torn about that one um, I feel like it didn't have much of an impact, and uh, at the end of the day, I'd probably would have preferred just having weapons with scopes, hair triggers, and extended max. We might have been a bit unlucky, and yeah, that fact that the classes didn't really combine um, very well with the gremlins and some other abilities that we got kind of uh, put a bit of a damper on it. There's also the fact um, that the um, game economy gets a little bit weird because you can sell the basic loot boxes for, what was it, 50 credits? 50 space bucks. And that kind of helped our supply a lot. Also, I think all of the, or most of the legendary items that we got were really underwhelming to say the least. So yeah, may maybe if I had got that killer item where I would have gone, whoa, great, then I would be more enthusiastic about the whole thing. It's not, I don't think it's a bad um, add-on, far from it. I like the idea. It just, it just doesn't strike me as something that I want to have on all my campaigns. So yeah, that for that. Then Shadow Ops classes. Love them. Absolutely. I like the more defensive approach. I mean, if you look here in the, in the background, um, using smoke, having this entrenched ability from a combat engineer, um, the, the infantry automatically fortifying up, you tend to have, in the right missions, really long drawn out firefights. It got a bit crazy in the end, I'm not gonna lie, um, where we weren't just one-shotting pots, we were one-shotting three pots. 
in a single turn. So overall really impressed. There was a few uh, minor issues, skills not working as advertised, most importantly like the whole fade and stealth thing from the hunter where they could fade and move and retain stealth or they would get a kill on some enemy and then gain stealth even though the enemy wasn't flanked. But I guess that gets ironed out sooner or later. What I really enjoyed is um, not having a phantom class. Because like having one of your soldiers just running around stealth or mission not doing anything. Yeah, it's effective, but it's really, really boring. Um, what I'm looking forward to, um, there's a shadow up class pack for Long War 2. I'm obviously not gonna um, introduce it to the current campaign, but I don't know, maybe I'll test it a bit in, in a single player, in a not, non uh, recorded campaign. Maybe I'll stream it on Twitch. That's something I could do again. I haven't done that in a long time. We'll see. So, what else? Scanning sites. I think. <clears throat> um, scanning sites and notoriety were a great combination because um, scanning sites on its own would just have been a huge buff and notoriety on its own doesn't have super huge impact I think. In the last Battle Advent campaign we were also using notoriety and well it didn't have all that much of an impact. Here um, you are always trying to plan around. Like, do I do I take another mission? Do I get another scanning site that gets a mission that adds notoriety to my guys? Or what am I gonna do? Um, yeah, so that's that's that. Yeah, the the other thing with notoriety, what I mentioned in the last few videos, I feel like the negative effects, there should be more negative effects at higher notoriety levels. Because at the moment it stops, uh, like 40 is the highest you can get. So, yeah, it seems it could kind of go higher. If you've seen our soldiers in the end there where we were 300 notoriety uh, days and no longer caring about anything. Then, yeah, additional notoriety levels might have been a thing. Also, um, it was a bit bugged, like the increased detection range wasn't working, etc. So, that's notoriety. What else were we using? Um, I don't think there was anything major. So, the only negative aspect of this campaign, and it might have been a bit obvious in the last few videos, is that I was really annoyed that from some mission on, for some inexplicable reason, the performance of the game was just crap. And I have no idea what it, what it cost it. Because, like, one day I record Long War and have these two hour missions with 50 enemies and 12 people in the squad or 10 people or whatever and it's running smooth as butter. Next day I play the better advent mission with 20 enemies and it's running like Total crap. It wasn't, it really, really hampered my fan, uh, fun in the end. And it's also one of the reasons why I kind of beelined for the um, final missions there. But, yeah, I hope, um, I mean, I spent like five or six hours trying to troubleshoot what the actual um, cause for this whole thing was, but I just wasn't able to find anything. So, what's next? Um, yeah, so the Long War campaign is still ongoing. I've pre-recorded a lot for that. So I'm probably an, about a week ahead of the current release. And now that I can fully focus on that, for now, um, I'm probably gonna bump it to two episodes a day. Uh, I rant a lot about Longmore, but I also enjoy it. Um, I'm not sure if it's 
too easy since it's on Commander instead of Legend, but I feel like on Legend uh, might have been too hard in regards to um, the strategic layer. But yeah. What else? Um, I'm not gonna just stay on Lower. If you've seen that I've played um, a campaign in Spectrum Orange, like back in the days, one of my really early campaigns, and the newest version, Spectrum Green, has well just entered open beta. So that's something I'm really looking forward to, to trying it out. Maybe also something for stream, I don't know. Having two series at the same time is a bit of a commitment if you really want to get an episode out for each series each day. But so far I'm still having a lot of fun. I always had plans to put something other than XCOM on the channel, but um, no. Not at the moment. Well, uh, enough rambling for me. Don't want to turn this into a super long video. Just wanted to say once again, thank you all for watching. Um, I loved reading the comments. Um, special shout out to Herr Flick with the Advent Propaganda comments. Uh, I mean, Ministry of Truth or whatever you would call it. And yeah, thank you everyone for watching. It's been a great time. I hope you stay true to the channel and enjoy the other series. If there's anything special you want to see, let me know. If you want to have your character in the character pool for future campaigns or current campaigns, let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.